What is up, crawler fans, RC enthusiasts, and social media surfers? I'm your boy Josh with Texoma RC, and those are two freaking baddies. Oh my gosh, Slayer Elite is here to stay showing off, dude. Testing proto, dude. Testing the proto mullet. This is all new front half, dude. So we have a TRX4M transmission skid so we're running the, the trx4m transmission with craw gears we have a prototype mofo 130 size can motor that is phenomenal uh i texted him asking him thinking it was probably available it's not even available yet so this thing is freaking rad um but so like options for this right now uh i think that you could probably run it off of like the you know the um hobby plus cr18p electronics with the uh power dash which is the stock F fcx24 motor uh so by the way you have to run a 130 size i wouldn't run a the 180 size motor that comes with the traxxas it's huge way too big dude no need for all that mass dude so we have plenty of wheel speed with this motor. Uh, I don't remember how much, maybe a 25 or a 30K spinning. It's got super torque. This is a m awesome motor in this setup. Uh, so I don't really know you could, but again, so you could run the, the stock FCX 24 motor or the even the speed motor on it with Furitech. Um, <clears throat> this is 3S with a dinky. Uh, all I'm gonna say is I don't think I'll recommend dinky uh i'm sorry um i have one on the table that is i don't know it's unusable it's brand new uh just you know well it's like a day's worth of use you know as i'm swapping around it broke and i can't fix it i don't know what's wrong with it stupid uh you know and i have another one that broke that i keep mending i've mended three times you know and it has multiple wires that broke and it's just freaking ridiculous uh so i can't recommend the dinky uh, it has not been a great experience. It works really well when it's working, but, uh, you know, if you can't move it more than once, <laughs> then what's it worth? Not really, definitely not an upgrade or it's not a, not a shortcut if you're, unless you got an awesome soldering station, uh, I'd go ahead and, uh, save my money. But dude, speaking of, that's all I want to say. I'm not going to talk hella crap, dude, but dude, it's not been a good experience. I had two on the bench for a while and I had to put in hella time, dude. I've just, I've wasted hours and hours and hours messing with these things. It's just ridiculous. So not very happy. That's enough. The Slayer Elite makes me happy. So that's enough. Watch this. Wait, wait, oh, not this one. Hold on, hold on. Watch this one, dude. The eyes are on it. You know, camera angle and stuff, guy, you know, filming one hand or whatever. <laughs> now we just had the bite and I didn't see it, dude. But right there, oh, oh my, go, my oh gosh, my God. dude. Freaking amazing. So more about the rig. So we are running the Traxxas TRX4M front axle. Um, and... Uh, dude. Oh, so other the, the drive shafts, that's another custom thing. Um, I had the T, the TRX 4M upgrade uh, from Traxxas the drive shafts. They're two males with a tube uh, that connects them, and so uh, they weren't quite long enough. So I made a connecting piece that goes in between them. So I guess I could make that available. Um, but you would still need the rest of the drive shaft and that's a really expensive drive shaft So I need to figure out actual drive shafts for this, but uh, you know, this is what I had on the shelf You're like hey, I could make that work And it works So if you have that and you want to use it, then I have uh, an accessory for you look at this So the pink and blue uh, just kind of uh, just happened. It's just parts that uh, I've been printing and I think it looks freaking rad the way it is. It's not going to stay pink and blue, I don't think. Um, but uh, looks pretty rad in the meantime. So we were just getting out for testing. And I just had a freaking drive, dude. I needed to drive. I needed just some time on the rocks. And, uh, dude, look. <laughs> freaking ballerina, dude. Dude, and freaking cartwheels out the rocks. Gymnastics. Oh my gosh, bro. 
So as this went on, I tried more and more stupid things. I did take out some of the stupid things that I tried that didn't really work out. I uh, did try, did leave in like this one here. I really wanted to push up in this crazy angle, um, but I just could not. So we're gonna give it a shot. Just couldn't get up there. And uh, so the drive or the front steering link is something that's the one part I think right now that I'm, I'm not happy with. Everything else has been addressed. This one will not have the cool ESC tray. There's absolutely no room. So what I did is they're basically sitting on the links uh, free right now. Uh, how I would probably do it, um, you know, if I was going to leave it this way is I would uh, wrap them in black electrical tape and then glue them to the link. Uh, right now they're just kind of sitting on the link. So I will, uh, address that a little bit more i wanted to get everything oh reprinted God. and yeah. and get it together and see you know what else is there uh anyways hopefully i will have a complete build done tomorrow uh and it'll be be good to go so maybe saturday uh we will have it up on etsy maybe tomorrow we'll see how it goes super duper happy with it i haven't even done tuning this is running on the rattlers Feels like it needs more weight. Um, it's it's freaking awesome, and it's one of those things you're like, I, you know, when it does certain things and it's really awesome, you're like, I don't want to add more weight, but weight typically makes it better. So we'll see. Especially these tires can definitely handle the weight. Uh, the other uh, the other rig showed that. Uh, so the only difference, so like, so let's talk about the wheels real quick. So our, the biggest wheels are, you know, they're freaking rad. Um, they are. The most expensive wheel set, got to be the most expensive wheel set on the market. Uh, and the reason for that for me, the $50 for me, is that they come uh, with two sets of inserts. And they take super long on the printer, plus the foam, this type of stuff. So that's why they're expensive for me. But then you have to add brass hubs, potentially. You have to add brass wheel inserts, which uh, they've been hard to find, by the way. Uh, so, but those were originally created to go with the Hobby Plus CR18P Builders Edition. So, like I said, that's like the whole point, and they come in the kit. Um, you know, so that's really what the biggest wheels came from. And so, I will keep those. Uh, and but I think I'm going to make another set. I'm going to pick another brass insert, uh, possibly the TRX4M Traxxas one. Uh, the Endura also makes one <clears throat> that's for the stock Traxxas <laughs> wheels. So, <clears throat> come on, dude. Break dancing. Um, let's go, bro. So, but I, I will pick another wheel weight because uh, I, I haven't been able to find those. I hit up Joe Cole at Fair RC and he never responded to me. Um, at least I thought I did. Maybe I pressed, didn't press send. But I thought that I sent a message to him to ask about them. Um, but I, I, they were on the market. I have bought them separately. They sent me some uh, and... Um, I bought some in the builders edition. So, uh, you know, I don't know what, I don't know. It sucks if we can't get those. They're awesome, you know, awesome weights. They're big. Uh, so, but if we can't find those, I'll make an adaption. <coughs> uh, all right. So anyways, so that's the biggest wheels. So then the Rattlers, uh, you know, it's using the BBs and, um, so they're cheaper to start off with. They only have one set of, uh, inserts for them, just the BB insert and um so i think they're a great option the only problem is they um are going to have a weight limit right they have they're not taking near the weight uh as the you know like 32 gram brass insert so the most bbs that you can fit in there um you know and have them actually work is probably right around 20 grams oh my and that's gosh. it if you go over that they're not gonna i mean you can actually fill it up and i guess and it would be right just there. heavy um you yeah. know so but I um, am going to see what I can do to modify <laughs> that to run the same Very tungsten good. weights that I have been running, uh, the half ounce. Uh, anyways, I just went to Randall Walmart real quick to see the different sizes, what the different sizes look like. And it's hard, once you look at the half and you see how much, what the size is on the half and you see the other ones, you're like, dude, the price that these are gonna cost and how many of them you're gonna need, we just need to find a way to use the big one. <laughs> so. I think that you could do up to three of the tungsten weights in the wheel. It, they fit, they just, it's not quite 
it just kind of grabs so it doesn't let it slide so i need to address that see what i need to do so that those will slide just inside the ring itself they slide awesome so it's just when you put it together it doesn't quite fit so <clears throat> i will fix those whatever i got to do to make that work uh because those will be phenomenal if they work and I was thinking about it, how do you make them extra slick on the inside? And you just texomalite them. And you're just gonna take a little bit of time to sand them, uh, and they will be freaking super slick, super hard, so that when that thing slides, it will just be slick on the inside. Freaking rad. Same thing could it be done on the the uh, the, uh, the b biggest bees, the rattlers. Um, you could do the texomalite. What is that? You're just using the CA glue, super thin CA glue coating. Uh, and soaking into the plastic fills all the grooves, uh, makes it super strong. So it also makes it super hard on the surface. Um, so uh, it's great for making, if you wanna paint it or whatever, it's great for that. Um, it does add rigidity to the plastic and uh, some other cool characteristics. It also kind of like flexes differently. It flexes it better and weird. it's in a weird way, but it can also be snappier because again, it's more rigid. So. Very, very cool. Uh, I definitely like to use that technique when I want to paint oh everything. Look at that pull up, gosh, dude. Are you, Are you freaking kidding me, kidding dude? Me. Right now we're at a 60, 40 weight bias. I didn't, uh, at least we were, that should have been where we were. Uh, that's what it was when I set the, the brass weights on the wheels, but then I redid the BBs and everything and never weighed it again. So uh, need to weigh it. But again, oh this is only a gosh. prototype to make sure this stuff is working to give me an idea of the parts where they're at so that I made the modifications. Everything should be should be ready to go. Uh, but again, that's what I always think and then I print it and I build it again and you're like, um, I could do this better or I could do this well. So we're in that part right now and uh, we're about to take care of it. We're about to knock it out of the park <clears throat> within the next day. This weekend for sure will be up and ready to go. Uh, I'm sorry to the SCX24 transmission fans that you may have wanted that transmission first, but I think this is ultimately a better transmission. Uh, this has a great feel of everything. This has the absolute best feel, uh, but it is a weight penalty. It's too high, uh, not good. So, but as you can see, dude, we're still freaking killing it. Um, and it was worth the wheel speed if you could get this motor. So, uh, other than that, the slow crawl, I feel like the Samix, the Samix 050 on the Hobby Plus, I think that that has a better slow crawl actually, uh, but this has more wheel speed and has killer torque. Uh, and so that, I mean, again, I don't think it has more torque. Um, it's just different how it applies the torque uh, and uh, definitely geared up just a little bit, I think. So at least that's the way it felt, but it just has a great feel. Uh, and this is a great, great Freaking setup. Hard, By the way, if you didn't know, the Traxxas uh, really axle hit, has a faster, um, has less reduction, or maybe it's faster, whatever. It's faster than the FCX24. So I have plenty of overdrive. Just watch the front wheel spin in comparison to the rear. Um, you know, this, when I built this, the, the Elite, ah, <laughs> I ran out of battery. I tried to throttle out and I ran out of battery. So we came back. And uh, I should have tried it again. I think I could have got that smooth, but we landed on wheels and we just kept pushing out. So that's enough, dude. We don't need to just keep flipping it. One thing with the Elite like this and the huge wheels is like uh, the body takes very little damage or impact. It's usually landing on a tire. So <clears throat> one thing with the biggest wheels, they can get out of alignment, the tire and whatever. Uh, so that, but you know, it happens, dude. It happens. Especially on these ones, I cut. These have the DJ Crawler tires have a like a bigger on, uh, inner bead. So I actually did cut those these tires. That's the first time I've cut a tire going on a biggish wheel. But they just uh, that insert just killed the BBs, right? It wouldn't uh, wouldn't work. So I had to go ahead and cut that off to make sure that it would fit in there and allow the BBs to spin freely. So now they work and it's freaking rad, dude. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. So I don't know if it's coming across Let's in go. video, on, but like Let's go. what this Come thing on, did dude. today ah! is absolutely really phenomenal. Like I set out originally, I wanted to make a sporty. I wanted, I saw the cars, the MOAs, 
the supers. I saw these things, man. I wanted one, right? Like, I and and but they're super expensive, right? Uh, and even if I had one, you know, uh, very unlikely that I would have you know buddies that would come out and play with me, right? Because you know, dude, when you're talking about a twenty five hundred dollar rig. <clears throat> Uh, there's not very many people around. I do, you know, I do have a couple of buddies that, that could could afford them now, but I didn't uh, didn't before, you know. And so uh, that's what I set out to build on the 24 scale. This is obviously not 24 scale, but we're using FCX 24 quote axle uh, in the rear uh, in the CR18 or no, sorry, the uh, TRX4M 18 scale uh, axle in the front. So you know we're. Uh, Whatever, it doesn't really matter. This is how wide and how big it is and how, you know, this is what it needs to be to be what it is, you know. So um, I think that it's phenomenal. If it has its own class or whatever, it doesn't really freaking matter, dude, um, you know, to me. But uh, this, as that set up, actually five and a quarter in the front, uh, we lost a half of an inch. That was the number one thing that I missed was my elbows compared to uh, Doug, a.k.a. Chester, the green Cheeto. <laughs> shout out to dustin dude upper left rc dude that was such a dope message if you didn't see it he put a meme up uh of a shop with the green right? cheeto uh doug <clears throat> from the last video with a shot of chester cheetah for uh from the cheetos bag and uh it was perfect dude the line the shot the line the, everything what's so funny is that i had like that idea i had that thought like in my head as i was going you're like oh my gosh it has it looks you know this like sense of familiarity and i know that i made the connection oh gosh, with chester uh cheetah so but at the same time it was never like a full thought so like when i saw it from him it was just like you know like it was like all there but it's just such a weird thing to like have had the thought made the connection but be going so fast to not entertain it and just keep going so look at this just making, oh, it, look just making it look hard dude oh it look my rad. gosh so anyway, uh, setting out to make a super, and then you fall, just like I did the last time, you fall out the backside. And I can't even say I was on the side this time, dude. Oh my gosh. Um, so I set out to make a super, right? Or I set out to make these cars, and I wanted to make something like that. And I've been working my butt off. And the Slayers, from the very beginning, even the Wood Slayers, were phenomenal. They're so freaking good. Uh, you know, and they just continue to progress. We made a plastic, so I made it even better. Went through revisions, revisions, revisions. So then we went to the pro, and we went through revisions, revisions, revisions. And now we're at the elite. Uh, I've finally actually begun to, and I made my actually, this is my links, right? Completely my own links, nobody else's. I didn't copy the CR18P or anything like that. This is my link set, my link geometry, uh, and it does this. So when I made the green Cheeto, dude, uh, I was driving it around the range and stuff, and it was like, it was so good. But it was like, man, I feel like if it was overdriven, that it should suck down to the hill and be awesome. So this, oh being like maybe God, 80 grams bro. less, being half an inch narrower, can do 95% of the side hill as the other rig because it sucks down. It goes up, I, I didn't put it on the walk board, but it hits every every vertical because it just literally sucks into the hill. The rear end is pushing down and the front end is sucking down and the whole thing just works together, dude, just to freaking be like a, like Velcro on a rock. Dude, if I swapped to the wheels that are on the Green Cheeto uh, with the weights, the Hobby Plus weights in them, uh, this yeah. thing would be just freaking awesome. So it's a little bit tight with the bands that I have on it. Uh, it would definitely flex a whole lot more. Uh, not that I really want it to flex, but it looks super sexy. Uh -huh. you know that. Flexi is sexy and flexed sells. You know what I'm saying? So it's all there, dude. It has all the flex. It's just the bands. I went for, I tried the uh, the clear bands the instead of the black bands. And uh, typically they're no-go on... Uh, when you run them on your shocks, they just don't flex right. They just, uh, they're like too stiff. And then if you pull them too hard, then they have no stretch. So, but I put them on here because they, they don't have to travel very far, number one. Uh, and I did want that tight, uh, that I wanted it to be tight. So they'll loosen up, number one, and uh, whatever they may or may not uh, ride with us into the next round. So the good thing about the clear ones is they last a lot longer if you don't overstretch them. 
Um, and so they last a lot longer than the black ones. So with the black ones, they have a certain tension and then, you know, in a, in a few days, a few runs, uh, they'll have a whole different tension. So, uh, you know, it's just hard to, you know, we're trying to, it's much better to have a rig that stays, stays more the same. And so using the clear bands, if we can make them work, will be a whole lot better, way more predictable run mm. to run. So, and that's super beneficial. So also, this is the first time I felt like with these big axles, uh, that this could be something that could actually run gates. This thing is so acrobatic, so controllable, rip till you flip. 